नम, नमस्कार हाउ आर यू सर नमस्कार राम राम शेखर जी वन थिंग दैट इवन आई डिड नॉट नो दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल आर व्यूअर्स वॉट हैपन्स इफ यू आर uh you know if your name is not in the voters list you have gone to the booth you know like you checked and you knew that you are going to be in this booth you went to the right booth but you don't uh find your name in the voters list what needs to be done there is a thing called challenge vote a challenge vote is something where you can say look i have voted here in the past this is my card this is my identity i want to cast a challenge vote now the challenge vote will come in handy if there is a close contest in that particular constituency they will consider challenge votes also when there is a close contest so please make use of this i did not know this thing i just talked to somebody i came to know this i thought i should share it with all our viewers of course first round is already over doesn't matter you learn you get better with time so i just wanted to share that with you shekhar ji sir congress is 150 counter congress is fast losing its relevance and i'll tell you why sir shekhar ji in this incident where neha hiremat was stabbed to death by fires the congress did not even come to the support of its own corporator that man i heard has quit now congress and then the home minister tried to pass it off as a the personal issue finally he delivered an uh, apology sir thoughtless brainless idiots or what they don't even want 40 seats what's going on sir well sir uh, i want to begin with a huge psychological war has started i mean ha- having no force on the ground and we have seen the kind of campaign that the opposition has been doing for the last 6 uh, weeks or so but just after the first round of elections what do i see is a kind of a whisper campaign has started and even finally it has resulted in the congress general secretary Jairam Ramesh himself coming out with a uh, with a kind of a uh, ex post right now, which says that the BJP has done very badly. They have they have they are completely wiped out in the southern states. I mean, in Tamil Nadu where the election has happened, and in the north they are getting only half. There are problems everywhere, and the decline of the BJP has begun. Now this is such a psychological war. I can see that it is being done by various. Uh, people who are part of the ecosystem who are participating in tv debates then there are others who are you know putting it to the social media that in this election the thakurs were unhappy there jats were unhappy here as if you know all it looks so fabricated and to give a to give a kind of a impression that all these four five months opposition could not put its house in order could not get the deal through there are still conflicting seat uh, uh, contests and with all that thing you know suddenly you know what you are seeing is just because the prime minister has talked about 400 par first rahul gandhi came with you know they are only going to get only 150 or so and in that joint pressure they had with along with akhilesh yadav akhilesh yadav said from ghaziabad to gazipur ye pura safaya ho jayega uttar pradesh mein and rahul gandhi talks of 150 Priyanka Gandhi talks of BJP getting not more than 180 180 now they think that they can unleash this kind of uh, statements remarks get their supporters to tweet or put it on the social media so that the core supporters of the BJP will get into a panic mode sir this was the first phase of election 102 seats this was one of the difficult phases rather the first phase is always difficult bjp because it doesn't it, it, it is not holding a majority of the seats here it is opposition which held and attempts in tamil nadu has been people have been saying that this is by far the best performance by B, you know uh, by bjp in tamil nadu definitely the percentage is going up we do not know about seats but even if they get one or two seats the percentage that will go up will be of a higher margin and all kinds of things and there and another thing people are splitting hair about percentage you know the the polling percentage uh, that if it was a higher percentage it would have benefited bjp if it's a lower percentage it will benefit the opposition sir i have heard this argument work both ways and incidentally you know what the ecosystem people are spreading 
wherever you find the queue the queues are long they say that it is our voters who, have, who came turned out to vote where the queues are short or there are no people in some booths they say look bjp supporters did not turn up because they are disappointed with the prime minister the prime minister speeches are without you now i am starting this uh, our show on this very psychological war because it is psychological nobody knows what has happened on the ground nobody knows who has pressed what but th and this has happened in 2019 also sir in 2019 also the same thing started first phase bjp is down second phase they are trying to recover third phase you know they have recovered and then by the time all the seven phases are over well bjp had uh, had, had go gone past uh, not only 272 they had crossed 300 so but this war needs to be called out because this is an attempt to uh, i will say to depress the mood of the bjp supporters and also they are they're trying to come, you know come out with a kind of a narrative that uh, you know prime minister is no longer attracting crowds his speeches are repetitive there is nothing uh, in what he says but when we see the visuals of those meetings there are cheering crowds in fact if you go by the body language i am no body language expert in fact prime minister today when he addressed a meeting in nande a day after the first phase he looked more relaxed than before in fact and and he was in a very jovial mood and he took humorous dig at rahul gandhi saying whatever happened in amethi will happen by an art that rahul gandhi will not come back to an art jaise amethi chhod ke chale gaye waise vairat chhod ke bhi jayenge and he said it in a very light hearted way you know i mean and and also he you know he had a good fun at penarai vijayan and rahul gandhi you know attacking each other but why this psychological war sir yesterday after the polling was completed the prime minister sat with some of his uh, strategists and he got a feedback as to how the performance has gone and as far as bjp inner uh, uh, you know feedback that i get they are not disappointed even in tamil nadu even in tamil nadu where the uh, you know tremendous effort has been made to see that somehow the anamalai does not win and the bjp does not get anything and today there also they have been saying people are saying no no it is a dmk which is going to get a good number of seats admk get me something and uh, <clears throat> and uh, bjp is not going to get anything from tamil nadu this they have been you know it has started in tamil nadu also many bureaucrats many politicians and sir another thing i am hearing which is very interesting that dmk ai dmk leaders wanted the bjp defeated in tamil nadu but admk cadres want bjp to win this is this is i heard that I mean, too i heard that too yeah i mean this is a very new thing that they want to win but this this war where it is going sir right now i have before me uh, jairam ramesh uh, has posted bjp graph south may half north may half and he says that you know uh, that india alliance has swept tamil nadu maharashtra performed strongly in bihar rajasthan and up and that bjp leadership is in a panic and that pm tweet is an indication of desperation in their camp look at the extrapolations that are being made and that that very bjp candidates have admitted i don't know to whom that they will have to work hard this time because there is no modi hawa and pm is uninspiring in his campaign etc now i am sharing this to our viewers because this this kind of thing which has been set forth it is very organized it's very organized it is coming from a central pool or spool or whatever and it is being spread across so that it props up on the social media here and there so by the time the second round is held the the seed of doubt would have, have been cast you know sir second ji i've heard a queue of crows lining up outside jairam ramesh's house jhoot <laughs> bole kawa kaate <laughs> kawa keval unko na kaate rahul gandhi ko bhi kaatna hai priyanka gandhi ko bhi kaatna hai <laughs> sir i can't understand why what was the opposition campaign what, i mean what did you do you came with some nay you came with some promises with kind of promises you did in madhya pradesh rajasthan and chatisgarh it had no impact people don't believe your promises and suddenly they have started believing everywhere 
सर एंड आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस स्टोरी दैट इज बींग सेड कि मुजफ्फरनगर में संजय बालियान कैंडिडेट है सो पीपल आर अगेन संजय बालियान सो सम ऑफ देम में वोट द ठाकुर आर अपसेट in some places jhats are upset sir when the alliance has happened between bjp and rld of uh, jain choudhry the whole idea was because the jhat community was was feeling divided rather because they want to back the prime minister but jain choudhry was on the other side of the camp in fact bowing to their wishes jain choudhry has switched over to nda and sir in uh, we know in western uttar pradesh which people are talking about in western uttar pradesh where the where a party which is dependent on minority votes is on one side the jats will not go with that party they will rather prefer bjp and all these stories you know some meetings of rajputs were held the why are rajputs angry no they are angry because पुरुषोत्तम रूपाला या बीजेपी मिनिस्टर सेंट्रल मिनिस्टर मेड सब कमेंट अबाउट राजपूत इन गुजरात एंड दे आर अनहैपी इन वेस्टर्न यूपी बिकॉज सफिशियंट रिप्रेजेंटेशन वाज नॉट गिवन टू राजपूत कम्युनिटी राजस्थान में दे आर सेइंग द सेम थिंग नो वसुंधरा हैज नॉट बीन हैज बीन इग्नोर्ड सो दिस इज हैपनिंग आई मीन द इको सिस्टम इज वेरी एक्टिव सर वेरी एक्टिव एंड दे हैव बीन आउट ऑन टेलीविजन ऑल्सो claiming you know yahan gaya wahan gaya sir all these fabricated you know kind of uh, thing makes me wonder ye yeah, this has happened in 2019 also you remember 2019 they said modi nahi aayenge to rajnath ban jayenge rajnath aayenge to nitin gadkari ban jayenge matlab 2014 mein to they were they didn't expect that mandate at all they didn't think bjp would win and in 2014 uh, i mean and in 2019 they were saying कि भाई ये तो वापस नहीं आएंगे एंड आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ सडनली ओनली स्टॉक्स वुड हैव सो बैडली एंड कांग्रेस स्टॉक्स हैव रिजन दिस दिस बैफल्स बी आई आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड हाउ जस्ट आफ्टर वन राउंड आई मीन यू आर अगेन एंड सर एंड एंड बट द बॉडी लैंग्वेज ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इनफैक्ट आई वुड से he wa he appeared to be very stressed because of the hectic campaigning till yesterday but today i got the feeling he was more relaxed uh, sir before we move on to the next topic um i'd like you to give us your estimate on 102 seats how you think that's going to break down in the sense that there are people saying that nda will probably go to 60 or 62 something like that what are your thoughts sir sir i am inclined to go closer to that number i i see somewhere between 55 to 60 okay because they the bjp had about 40 you know so i i i feel that this is the where it will go and sir in uh, in a in a parliamentary elections no matter who is angry with whom or in you know assemblies some people are upset with particular candidate or but overall when it comes it's a vote for modi and this election is about modi or no modi because there is no there is not even an alternative for modi either you want modi back or you don't want modi this is this is the theme of these elections ek aisa nahi hai ki there is somebody else you know that there is an alter there is no alternative and opposition thought you know it doesn't matter we will come then we will decide sir that doesn't work in a parliamentary election when you have a a strong candidate in prime minister i am not saying that bjp is not facing problems there are problems in constituents in particular constituencies there are problems in seat sharing but finally what is what is that thing which is you know completely overtaking all this is this this election is about prime minister you are for the prime minister modi or you are against prime minister modi and i can't see two people squabbling over you know jats versus thakurs or some thakurs are upset so what is alternative they'll go for somebody who is not there i think if with all that they will add sir if you go by polling percentage look at the figures that is coming from bengal and tripura tripura is recorded 80 plus and in west bengal where three constituencies went to polls yesterday 
कुछ बिहार अलीपुरदार एंड जलपाईगुरी एंड देयर द परफॉर्मेंस इज आई एम आई एम द फीडबैक आई एम गेटिंग इज बीजेपी विल रिटेन ऑल द थ्री सीट्स बिकॉज दैट इज अ काइंड ऑफ मूड इन नॉर्थ बंगाल सर देयर विल बी प्रॉब्लम एरियाज देयर विल बी गैप्स आई एम नॉट डिनाइंग दैट आई एम नॉट अ पर्सन आई एम नॉट एन ऑस्ट्रिच दैट आई बरी मे हेड सेड ओह ठीक है कुछ ऐसा नहीं है बट this psychological war has to be called out sir because this this is like this is like you know people are just trying to and 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 this is spreading fast because i can see so many people trying to say that yes in tamil nadu sir bjp has been on a appeal stream as they say in tamil that is edirnichal you know you are swimming swimming against uh, an environment right. which is yeah mm. at, at which is which is not in your favor because they have the party power they have the state power they have they have been ruling the roost for a long time and what about the money power i mean despite all this if you have seen a fight and you have seen a panic in the dmk camp with every leader worth his salt saying that bjp is our enemy well if with all this let's say if annamalai can't make it or somebody else makes it some of the star people don't make it but does it be the end of this bjp story in tamil nadu certainly not in fact i would say the prime minister will be even more determined to pursue tamil nadu and he may take lot of things to a logical conclusion particularly cases involving sleaze because that has to be battled first whatever it is sir Um, Chikaji, I'm sorry to interrupt here. I know you are in full flow. I just wanted to add a few things about Tamil Nadu because yesterday, or actually, I should say yesterday for me, but today for you. In the morning, we had a very detailed, in-depth discussion about what happened in Tamil Nadu elections in uh, with uh, Sri Ram Seshadri. This took place in English as well as in Tamil. I request to all of you to please like this video and go back to look at that one because we are going to share some information now that has not been seen in the mainstream media. now what we are hearing and we, what we are hearing is this um the numbers from the ec which actually say they had a high number then they went way low in two or three constituencies coimbatore Ch chennai central and chennai south so far the eci has not come out and said a word uh but it is expected to go up the numbers appear to be too low that is what is the general sense because people were there on the ground they know the usual voters the unusual voters and things like that we discussed about this in that video so that is the first one second one is i've got information from deep south deep south what is this is an interesting pattern that appears to be emerging not only there but it is also seen in chennai what it is is that um, in in uh, in constituencies such as kanyakumari the strongholds of hindu dominated constituencies the voting percentages was considerably higher than those uh, constituencies where the christian population is in majority the interesting thing there is maybe this is just a guess this is a hypothesis maybe the christians may not want to vote for bjp but they may want to just stay away they don't want to vote against bjp please understand there is a small subtle thing here either way you know it's a loss for the guy who's voting uh, who's banking on that vote so hope springs hope always springs eternal there could be a possibility that uh, pun radakshan might pull off kanyakumari cautious optimistic they are saying just looking at the numbers right right i mean we are not saying anything else just looking at the polling percentages because kanyakumari is a totally polarized constituency it's christian versus hindu and, and a few muslims thrown in so this kind of when there is total polarization like this it is you, you have your both are fighting for survival although i would say that this, this fear is unfounded but what be that as it may as far as elections are concerned that's how everybody is looking at it so like this i also heard from sri ram ji that there are vote banks for dmk the dravida parties which is the lower income group people interestingly in in chennai central especially 
the lower income group percentage of voters was lesser compared to middle income group they were derisively called apartment people oh this time the apartment people are voting can you believe that sir apartment people means middle class it it also means people who are a little bit more you know upward mobile and and they normally don't throw up to work they were voting so these are all things that are in the mix right now let's not look too much into the percentage of vote or who does it benefit who doesn't it benefit but overall everybody has to do their job and we are doing our job in our opinion and and also viewers um, those of you who may have not listened to sriram seshadri i'll i'll stop in one minute sir see there is an app available that will tell you what your booth is and how many people are there in the queue so you can time your trip to the booth accordingly when you feel like only there are 10 people on the booth you can just go in and then cast your vote this way it gives a smooth experience for everybody just wanted to put that thing out there you guys have to do a little bit of research make sure your name is on the voters list if it's not you go still there show them and cast your challenge vote so don't don't waste your vote that's all i am saying i'm not saying vote for x or y i'm just saying don't waste your vote back to you sir let's go on to the next topic sir before i move on to the next topic i want to add one more thing i was talking about the mood of the prime minister today yeah you know in nanded he made a he has been appealing for people to come out and vote in large numbers particularly to the youth to the first timers today he said i request opposition leaders also to ask people to come out and vote <laughs> saying that at least they will vote for they will vote for you for some other time may not be this time but do ask them to also to come out vote so that they develop the habit of voting correct 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 and they will do it later for you but you ask them to come out so I, from that i could make out i didn't see any sense of a panic or anything and, and he has been you know bringing out the contradictions in the uh, in the alliance and he went to the extent saying not only will rahul gandhi will not return to wayanad just as he has said bid goodbye to abeti he said after the elections are over this india alliance people who are now you know talking of a grand alliance against bjp in the center but in kerala they are fighting like cats and dogs after the election ye log kapde phadenge they will fight you know in a manner they will tear up i will tear each other's clothes <laughs> i mean it is going to get that bad after the elections because they'll blame each other and and they, they have no love lost for uh, the what prime minister called the shahzada the crown prince so you can see that uh, if this is it but then sir this this campaign i think it is more important that uh, those who are hardcore supporters of the prime minister should not get disheartened and should not uh, <clears throat> you know get taken away i mean taken away by all these things that are being done to bring down the morale of the there is a huge huge support that he has been getting across sir uh, we have a quick Arde. video here congress ke jo sahajade hain unhe bhi vaynad mein sankat dikh raha hai साहजादे और उनकी टोली 26 अप्रैल को वायनाड में वोटिंग का इंतजार कर रही है जैसे ही 26 को वायनाड में वोटिंग पूरा हो जाएगा ये साहजादे के लिए एक और सुरक्षित सीट घोषित कर देंगे और कहीं और से फिर से लड़ाना पड़ेगा उनको <laughs> क्योंकि उनके अलायंस के साथ ही भी एक दूसरे को गालियां दे रहे हैं कल आपने उनके एक साथी केरल के मुख्यमंत्री ने जो शाहजादे को सुनाई है मैं भी कभी ऐसी भाषा नहीं बोलता वो ऐसी भाषा बोली है उन्होंने साथी को ये हाल है उनका अब जैसे इन्होंने अमेठी से भागना पड़ा अमेठी छोड़ा अब मान के चलिए वो वायनाड भी छोड़ेंगे 
So there. thank you ANI for that. I uh, hope you won't strike us off. Uh, thank you ANI. Sir, go back to you. Sir, uh, uh, but one thing, sir, uh, the Prime Minister has never taken this election lightly. And and he has also constantly, you know, drummed into the head of every BJP worker and leader. Look, this is never a done deal. Contrary to the impression, just because he was calling for Agli Bar, Char so Par, BJP, Teet So Satar, 370, and, you know, all these are meant rather to galvanize the workers. And it is no uh, secret that Prime Minister has always felt that in 2014 as well as 2019, the opposition has been taking a dig that even though in terms of seat, you know, BJP has won, you know, uh, almost uh, uh, what I should say, absolute majority or even uh, uh, landslide victory. But still the opposition has been pointing out, look, you have won with only 37% vote or 38% vote. There are 62% vote out which are not with you. That is why Prime Minister has been saying, look, we need to get closer to 50%. And we need to move from, the needle must move from that 37% vote to higher, to higher reach. And also the fact, you know, the criticism that has come, that they have accommodated so many people, they have increased so lot of people from other parties to join. Even Priyanka Gandhi's aid has joined today. Bittu has joined. So the whole idea is the more the people come in, whatever little percentages, you know, all those will aggregate and push BJP's percentage. So this is this is the basic purpose why the Prime Minister has been seeking more numbers to come. Otherwise, BJP again getting a majority was no doubt. I mean, was not a very big uh, uh, challenge. I mean, that would have happened in any case. But the idea is we need to work harder. We and Prime Minister believes unless the BJP rank and file see a threat, because even this opposition psychological war is, will 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 rather you know force BJP workers to you know work harder. It's it, in a way it's helping the BJP. Wherever the complacency would have set in, that will also evaporate now because because the, they they will also sense the threat is real. And Prime Minister has been reminding voters in all his campaign, look, you as a voter will have to see that whatever has changed in the last 10 years, if you want this to continue and become irreversible, then you need to bring us back again. And that can range from issues, from whatever uh, we have known so far. I mean, the kind of phony secularism you have seen, the appeasement politics, corruption and then policy paralysis all that you know people should not forget because if they were if they forgot this for a moment and were complacent that you could see a situation where bjp may be back in power with a reduced uh, numbers but that reduced numbers will not be good for this country but this is a time of great transition more things that are in store i have also seen articles by some people saying even if the you know BJP doesn't get that kind of number, it also helps. If it gets very good, if it doesn't get also, it's not bad because that that will bring some kind of a balance in the BJP working, so that it will be more inclusive. People have been saying all this, but sir, we are we are passing through a phase which is because if the Prime Minister's mantra of you know perform, reform, and trans I mean transform. Now that perform, transform, and uh, perform, uh, reform, and transform. You know, ultimately, you will have to change the condition in this country. And the PS has been talking of a mandate for Vixit Bharat. India, that is great in all its aspects. And also, I am told, sir, a task has been given now, even to the MLAs. Wherever BJP MLAs are there, they have been told that they, they should take responsibility to bring that the NDA gets sizable lead in their constituency, individual constituency. And so that, uh, say, normally uh, each uh, Lok Sabha uh, constituency has six assembly segments. See, in each of the sec assembly segments where if the uh, BJP MLA is there, then he should work towards it. He or she must try to ensure their checkup at the booth level. So that push is being given, no doubt. So, the, this is what I am seeing, sir, that there is 
a lot of uh, one side effort is to pull the bjp down saying you know you are on the slide on the other hand the prime minister still you know leads by example and by his own uh, i would say hard campaigning very hard campaigning sir these same congress leaders were once saying why is campaign prime minister campaigning like this why can't he relax for one election we to jeetenge matlab as if the prime minister should not campaign for their benefit well they are they are free to do what they want and sir today in nanded prime minister specifically spoke about sonia gandhi also without taking her name he said look ye yeah, the mahal has changed so much so badly the atmosphere has undergone such a change that some people who were always contesting lok sabha elections they have now gone and sat in the parliament via rajya sabha wahan ja ke baith gaye that's the exact word he used they they have got, they have they have avoided parliamentary contest sir we know for a fact in many states congress leaders some of the fairly senior have refused to contest do they were asked by rahul gandhi you must contest and some of them have shown some excuse and wriggled themselves out in karnataka we know at least the senior minister did not want to contest they said theek hai if you do we don't know we don't see any point in leaving our minister's post post elections to be member of parliament when we know congress is not going to do anything much therefore we would rather suggest that you put our daughters or sons or our family members as candidates which the finally congress has agreed there are 16 17 uh, relatives of ministers who are in the fray as congress candidates yes this is a difficult battle and opposition i mean if you the given the mood of the opposition they see they have nothing to lose only to pull down the bjp's numbers then they can manage but nobody is talking that where is the congress going to get that 100 plus seats or more to upset bjp because it's we are going to the, the, those 200 250 seats are the the real battle is on has the mood changed there honest answer would be we do not know but at the same time we can also say that the situation that is being painted by the opposition leaders and its ecosystem that things have got bad there that is also not true because every election is a tough election sir no elections i mean no matter even they, they say this is waveless election sir nowadays you know given this kind of thing it is very difficult to discern wave sir so some of the journalistic expressions are they talk of wave or no wave then they talk of strong undercurrents the these are the typical expressions used you know when honest answer would be i just don't know what is the mood of the people sir so some of my friends uh, journalistic friends who went to western up yesterday during election they spoke to a number of people they were surprised that some of the voters belonging to minority community also saying that we agree that you know modi has done a lot of work that we would like to i mean one or two people said we don't mind voting for him but others say kaam to kiya hai lekin hum unko vote nahi denge i mean i mean there is some mindsets where you know they say they admit that kaam hua hai they admit that lot of things have happened lot of things have changed for the better but we will not vote for modi and and sir we have we have seen some of these uh, reporters doing this dipstick uh, approach traveling in trains and buses and asking where young people have been saying you know bhai modi to aayega aur kon aayega modi to aayega aur kon aayega the q the kafi kaam kiya at least so he is seen as a person working to bring changes so is tarah ki baatein jab hai i think uh, we need to see that this is all uh, i mean there is so much of psychological uh, uh, you know attempt to somehow you know ensure that there there is a sense of a disarray among the voter, uh, voters of modi in the subsequent phases since social media is playing a very big role so the attempt is 
a more psychological rather than electoral on the ground sir thank you so much sir and viewers um, i just was looking at the, the like count as opposed to the viewers count only one in two of you have liked this video i mean look there are so many people who don't want you know this channel to do well and and the algorithm automatically starts you know dialing down the virality for instance today i have still not got notification for my own account that this my that is i have not been notified that you know i am going live it, i can't explain this youtube seems to have an algorithm that has a mind of its own that's why i say that you know plus just like this video if you don't mind and then uh, of course if you don't like it that's fine please let us know where we should be doing more work and we'll be happy to try and accommodate you just wanted to tell you some of the headwinds that i some of the other nature that we have to also put just to stay in place we are not even making forward progress that is the kind of challenge we have so shekhar ji what is this thing this internal family squabble cpmc uh, congress feud sir Sir, uh, we will have to, you know, analyze this. Why is Federa a Vijayan? Why and left? I mean, in, uh, I mean, the overall has been very critical of Rahul Gandhi this time. I mean, it it started. In fact, it was not BJP that started the attack on Rahul Gandhi for contesting for why not? I mean, to put the chronological order in which it has happened, it was left which started it. It is CPM Binay Vishwa who first said. Why is Rahul Gandhi contesting for why not? What is the need to contest for why not? Your battle is in the north. You Congress, it is the responsibility of the Congress to take on BJP in the north. Why are you coming here? What are you going to gain by defeating us? It started like that, and as it progressed, now what do we see? Pinarayi Vijayan himself is now going full blast. Now it has gone like this. left is accusing congress of not doing enough to fight the bjp therefore congress is the bjp b team of bjp it's not giving <laughs> and rahul gandhi is asking the prime minister sir the opposition theme has been that central agencies are misused there is a political vendetta involved in targeting opposition leaders but in kerala there is a different song and a different tune Rahul Gandhi, you know, is among the leaders who is asking, why has Pinarayi Vijayan not been arrested like Arvind Kejriwal was? Why have you not pursued all those gold smuggling cases? Why have you not quizzed Pinarayi Vijayan? This goes to show that CPM is the B team of BJP. That they are both together. That is why agencies which is after us, the same agency is. On a pause mode or a slow mode, when it comes to Pinarayi Vijayan, and then Priyanka Gandhi joining her brother in uh, Kerala today, she asks, "Why, why is uh, BJP more talking about Rahul Gandhi? Why is the Prime Minister talking about Rahul Gandhi? Why is India attacking the CPM enough? Why is India attacking the left enough?" Sir, I can't understand. these people are thinking ki bjp ka safaya ho jayega and tomorrow the, the uh, they see a scenario where bjp may not be in a position to form the government then they will all sit together same pinarayi vijayan will sit by the side of rahul gandhi and decide who will be the next prime minister and will people accept that situation i mean i can't dream even i mean dream think of such a scenario Because people are tired of those era of coalitions, they have seen it all. They say people's memory is short, but I don't think it is short on for this particular aspect of political uh, scenario. Because we have seen what happened between ninety six and ninety eight. Even between ninety one and ninety six, when Narasimha was dependent on smaller parties, we have seen what has happened during V P Singh's time. then chandrashekar's time people have seen all this so the 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 question that is coming up is if they are so bitter about each other and they think it will be all over with april 26 uske baad again in the secularism in danger democracy in danger so all saying all that they will come together 
but nevertheless this time the battle is getting yes i because as soon as april 26th uh, voting is over in kerala then probably they will decide after a few days that who should be the candidate from mit sir we have been discussing this that can rahul gandhi cut us from two unsafe seats i have said right from the beginning this time vayanad is unsafe yes i do also see that left is also in a panic mode because fedor has been facing anti incumbency issues he feels that there are chances the opposition may do well in many constituencies and quite possible udf if not repeating the result of the 2019 they may certainly reverse the results that they saw in 2021 assembly elections so there there is a fear in the left mind no doubt federai vijayan feels this is a challenge and bjp being a serious player in kerala this time of course again there are enough pundits political pundits who will say nay nah, nay nah, kerala they won't get anything are they are non serious player like they are in tamil nadu in kerala they are nothing but you cannot dismiss any party sir my own uh, i would say experience in covering indian politics la for more than four decades my conclusion you cannot write off any political party in any state because once a party decides to stay put and willing to you know plow that lonely furrow you will definitely see that sooner or later that party will draw to itself some support then people will begin to see yes that is why there is always the danger of too many turn coats coming into your party spoiling your case for the future this big all it happened bjp took a lot of people before i mean in the 2019 election then before 2021 election a lot of them went back like the migratory birds that go away you know when scorching sun drives us mad so the, the, these are things that are coming up now sir as we move on to second phase but all the subsequent phases these phases are i would say are much more uh, i would say more um, fruitful for the bjp than for the opposition as you know because some, as in uttar pradesh also you will gradually from western up you will start moving on to central up then then to gradually to eastern up so this is the scenario sir uh, shreyer ji i thought we need to look at all this sir thank you so much sir and we have about eight questions we are going to run run through them quickly so that we don't go over the one hour mark uh, sir appreciate it if you can just keep the question short uh, the sir. answer short sorry pawan kishor wants to know is bjp over relying or over confident on opinion polls do you see any signs of bjp getting a jolt and not forming a government with nda pawan kishor ji i can tell you with with reliable information bjp here i mean the prime minister himself and the strategic managers including home minister amit shah and other leaders they never go by the opinion polls the polls that are conducted by the media and published published so they don't go by that they have their own internal surveys they have their own internal assessments it is not one j one agency uh, that does the survey and brings the result they are not they never depend on one agency in fact many agencies are contracted to give them the feedback apart from that they get feedback from their own um, political uh, i mean from their own cadres as well as from the parental body from the rss network also they get feedback as to what is the mood in different places that is one and second thing is will bjp get a jolt well jolt means in the sense are they going to do very badly that you expect a jolt no there may be some constituencies where they did not foresee a problem earlier that may be having a problem which they will be able to detect through that these internal surveys or assessment they do now will will the situation be such as opposition is making out that they will never able to form a government at least i do not think that situation will come because i will only put this question is the congress or the opposition parties ever going to reach at the end of these elections in a position where they can together have a close to 300 uh, figure and form their own government 
sir even as they are talking of you know some people have been the opposition is talking of bjp getting 200 seats 250 seats if bjp alone gets 250 seats 260 seats can you prevent a bjp led government being formed sir i don't think so if if, if bjp gets 250 uh, even uh, 250 it is still it, it will be a bjp government bjp is not going to give up like that unless we i mean some people are imagining a situation where bjp will just drop to 100 103 130 seats or so i doubt that i doubt that because there there are vast silent majority of supporters of the bjp who have benefited from the prime minister schemes who have actually seen tangible results happening who have seen their lives change these are silent majority they don't talk much but they are beneficiaries of several schemes sir thank you sir next question please uh, magnet rangaji is asking too many violent incidents in karnataka in the recent past there were videos on social media of pro pak slogans this is pakistan not pan pro pak slogans yesterday too in the presence of dk suresh won't it hurt congress sir this this even the latest murder has added much to the difficulties of the congress because i mean one attempt was made, the father of that girl he is himself itself saying that you know the he suspects is a case of love jihad and yet the family has been denying the stories that are being put out that the girl was in relationship with this the accused and because of some internal problem this has happened but many people do not believe this and incidentally sir some media houses were given some photographs where an attempt was made to show that the accused and this girl were intimate had in were in uh, intimate terms this is very unfortunate the girl is not here to contradict now who is releasing these pictures is the karnataka government doing it karnataka police doing it because i have seen this it has been shown on television to debunk this love jihad uh, uh, you know the suspicion of a love jihad of course the accused mother has come out and has expressed sorry but she has also said look it was a and she is also saying the same thing that the girl initiated the move for a relationship and it is girl who sought the boy's number now th- this along with those pictures which have obviously come from people who are close to the accused so that they don't want this story of a muslim boy killing a hindu girl because she she turned him away or she was not in a mood to accept his offer for a relationship that is why you know as if there is some kind i mean they say that we condemn the killing etc etc but more they talk about i mean the, these pictures are released we do not know these are true pictures whether these are morphed pictures because these days you can't take anything as you know you can't take it at the the picture value but some media houses have been showing this sir uh, that is very unfortunate part because these okay. are matters for the police to investigate and because just as the family feels that it could be a matter of an attempt to you know marry and convert that girl the other side wants to debug this today that girl's family is in deep pain people in uh, this huballi darwad region they are very very upset as to what has happened shekhar ji um, i don't know if you saw the actual cctv footage where the boy confronts the girl um, Listen, listen. This is something that you have to make the conclusion yourself. And from for me, it looked like the moment the girl saw the boy, she was terrified. She was terrified, and and this guy didn't give her a chance. He started stabbing her left, right, and and I mean the first stab, she falls down. Then he just goes bang, 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 bang. There are two boys. One boy was close. The other one was a little farther. Then he also come. Both stood. I mean that is where Hindus need to understand. At least start shouting 
try to dis, uh, you know distract that fellow from uh, you know stabbing the girl so many times no one or two stabs sometimes you can recover it depends upon where the wound is i mean sir any normal person if you are jinxed in a, a relationship is not going to take to extreme violent means there is you cannot any this mother of the bloody boy i'm telling you what what how did you raise your boy is it what you tell him that if the girl doesn't accept your uh, advances you go and uh, stab her what nonsense are you talking about aren't you a sanatani yourself so what i am trying to say is that these people have to be rebuffed in on their face no mother can bring her son up to say that if you don't get your way you should stab that nonsense sir total nonsense and and again i'm telling you the pressure has been brought about by social media channels that is why mr parameshwara has now said i am sorry because he sees the heat building up and this is this is not going to go away i'm telling you second phase third phase all the way up to seventh phase this is going to what little chances the inda had i see them evaporating because that is not the response that was befitting of a home minister you don't deserve to be in a home minister and the chief minister uh, chief minister the less said the better that's my op opinion let's go on to the next question um rohit akshay wants to know will brs be left with just the first family in the car 20 more mlas are willing to join congress is it the end of brs well it looks like sir they are facing a biggest crisis and the fact that uh, ksr's daughter kavita finds herself totally caught in the delhi excise scam and with more revelations coming and people are saying that how even kavita's role is more than just organizing the southern cartel for the benefit of up leaders because it seems it looks like at this stage the benefits of flow you know has has been uh, has uh, has gone both ways so more revelations are coming so therefore i do not know what is the future of ksr and how this thing has totally collapsed sir next question please um ragu kashyap wants to know is it possible that the pessimistic picture that is painted by the river of bjp is to dampen by the river of bjp i don't know what it means is to dampen the motivated bjp's karyakartas my gut feeling is very close to reality well the the attempt is to dampen the mood of the karyakartas definitely the rank and file to tell them look all the candidates are in difficulty because in many places they have gone in for new candidates obviously there are sections within the bjp who are upset that you know they did not get a ticket or they were they were not uh, their uh, candidature was not renewed these are all there but well there are constituencies where the challenges uh, have changed i mean there are new challenges new problems etc etc but i do not see a overall situation where just after the first round you feel that bjp is down and out i don't agree with this uh, attempt of you know for that kind of an assessment sarwani tumuluri wants to know uh, sir it feels like opposition is all geared up to turn the country upside down it feels so scary to see how they are trying to divide the nation it shows their hatred lot of times ahead well sir uh, i i want to uh, i mean predict one more thing already an attempt is being made you know by by filing petition supreme court challenging the credibility of the evms you uh, you saw leading lights like uh, prashant kish uh, uh, prashant bhushan and other lawyers taking up a case saying that in karnataka there was an ex experimental uh, rather a, um, a display that was organized for opposition leaders where one machine uh, showed excess of votes to bjp this was mentioned in the uh, supreme court but but uh, what has happened is uh, so the uh, the election commission told the supreme court no such thing happened there was no such a trial demonstration nothing of that sort happened so uh, i mean uh, the whole attempt is prepare now itself well if if we win then the evm has worked if we don't win then you start raising doubt you know 
the mandate was not secured in a rightful manner put a question mark on the mandate they try to see if it can be made into a, some kind of a, a call for you know uh, questioning the mandate try to organize demonstration post elections some some toolkit plan is ready sir this much i can feel thank you sir um, we are trying to get one other survey going viewers and uh, the reason is this evm thing has to be set to rest so what we did in sri ram jashadri's conversation was we we encouraged all the voters who were who had voted to tell us whether they voted on a vv pat or a non vv pat and we have some numbers on the survey that we conducted it was for 2 3 hours or so uh, 71% said that they saw their their vote actually their symbol fall through and 21% did not know that was whether i mean they didn't know whether it was vv pat or not because vv pat is something that any many people understand but if you are seeing it for the first time you wouldn't know what it means so so what we are doing is we are trying to set up another survey where as people vote just tell us if it was a vv pat whether you could see your symbol your vote drop through that window it stays there for 7 seconds 7 seconds you have time to see and make sure that okay is symbol per is chin per dabaya and that showed up that, that you know for sure that everything worked okay and then there will be a beep and that beep will take a little bit of time so please wait till the beep comes that tells you that your job has been accepted fully so just do that part so this is we are going to run some run a poll and we'll try to do this thing over the seven phases because we want to put this thing to rest i as a technical person i'm telling you the vv pad with rom version 3 what it means is that it is literally impossible to change anything at the vv pad level at the vv pad level if it is with a rom based code that means there is no code that can be changed and run and these these things don't have internet connections they actually manually add down the numbers and that happens during counting where a representative of each party is present see the, this is just rhetorically you can say evm is the reason but you don't have any basis for that and we want to even that we want to make sure that this is what it is you the voter tell us how many places you saw that the the thing slipped through and how many places you did not see it that is fine i'm not saying 100% evms are vv pat enabled voter verifiable paper audit trail i think that is what the expansion is i i'm not 100% sure of that but paper audit trail is correct okay next question despite the unexplained reduction in voter turnout in bjp in bjp favorable areas none of the senior dravida journalists like rk radha krishnan maniyan priyan are speaking sir so the, the the voter turnout has has got to do with number of other reasons like chennai chennai did not surprise us whether it is central chennai or south chennai you know there is general voter apathy is still is still a problem uh, which should make us all think why why is those privileged uh, as you said the apartment class is not uh, you know take their time out and go and cast their ballot that is one and the second thing is sir it was there there has been a sort of heat wave in tamil nadu some of the places had a very very bad uh, weather on that day that is on the voting day but still some people turned up and i am also told that people who had to go to the say a nearby town and cast their votes they did not fi- they did find that somewhat transport services particularly public transport services that somewhat curtailed or their difficulty in taking a transport i am hearing this also this is subject to verification but chennai i am going also... to coimbatore sir chennai to coimbatore big big complaints I'm... so yeah. i am told that uh, this is also to prevent people who are too enthusiastic to you know take time off travel to their hometown and vote and so so there are various reasons of course but then voter turnout is itself not an indication of how a party will fare or how a party will not fare well i don't think that's a that will be too much of hair splitting because ultimately it is the all total votes cast so thank you sir last question why isn't any media directly asking rahul gandhi why he and his mom aren't behind bars for humongous 
misappropriations. Why is the media softballing crooks? Well, well, we will have to wait for the first hundred days of the Prime Minister. He has promised big time action on corruption. Let us let us wait for that because I think that is sir, there is a fear. This election is all about fear among certain sections of the so-called opposition to Prime Minister Modi. They are very worried what happens if the government comes back. So let's wait and see what happens. Okay, viewers, a survey is running now. So you can tell us whether you saw the VVPAT work. All we you just answer the questions in the survey and you will know how to answer it. Thank you so much, uh, 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 <clears throat> Shekharji. Thank you so much. And viewers will be back again with Shekharji on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. where we'll be that, that transmission will be in Hindi. Thanks once again, sir. Namaskar. He's also available on Tamil, by the way. Sir, over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.